I'm Michael Harrington, Drunk Water Sewer Commission Construction Crew Leader, uh, CC1. What I'm holding in my hand is the sanitary TY. It's four inch. What we do, we'll put this in the ground to connect it to the service line. Uh, this is access for the camera crew or the VATCON to clear a blockage or to camera the service line. Hi, I'm Jay Sellers with the Brunswick Glen Joint Water and Sewer Commission. I want to spend the next two minutes talking to you about how to install a sewer cleanout. If you are connected to our sewer collection system to enable wastewater treatment, we hope that you have a sewer cleanout installed. This device makes it easier to identify and snake out any blockages in the line. Plumbing code requires a cleanout installed at or near the property line, referred to as a lower cleanout. We also recommend one located close to the house, referred to as an upper cleanout. You may not have noticed this device before, but you will be glad that you have one if the toilet becomes difficult to flush or your sink and tub will not drain. If your house was built before the 1970s, you may find the pipe technology used at the time to be less reliable than PVC, such as clay pipe, orangeburg, or galvanized pipe. Consider upgrading that service connection from the street to the house if problems arise. While some property owners have the confidence and experience to install the upper cleanout, construction standards require that a plumber or utility contractor specially licensed to dig in the public right of way install the lower cleanout. If you do see this sewer cleanout in your yard, please make sure that there is a cap present on the top of the fixture to ensure that we have to treat the least amount of rainwater or groundwater, known as inflow and infiltration, thereby saving unnecessary expenses at the treatment plant. You will want to check now before a problem arises to see if you indeed have access to it or plan to have one installed before it's needed. As Michael Harrington showed us at the beginning, in rare cases we do encounter situations that require that our crews be prepared to replace or install cleanouts to facilitate solving problems between the property line and the main, but this is usually a project that would be undertaken at your expense. We hope that you never have a sewer line blockage, but if you do, and you or your plumber find the problem is on our end, we have staff available 24-7 to help. Every day, the staff of the JWSC is here to serve you.